Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Dear colleague, dear Ararat, I was very glad to have the occasion to welcome you here in Prague to welcome the Minister Ararat Mirzoyan. We last had the opportunity to speak in May in Torino, and our today's meeting expresses our mutual interest to further deepen the relationship between Czech Republic and Armenia. Armenia is an important partner of our country. We can speak about parliamentary cooperation and also economic cooperation. We appreciate very much the continued and the implementation of democratization reforms in Armenia that are in line with the SEPA agreement. I would also like to stress the fact that we really appreciate the progress achieved. We support the reform process and we hope Armenia will continue in it for the benefit of its citizens. The political commitment of the Armenian representation for the reforms and for the values represented by the EU, EU are appreciated even more in the light of the difficult geopolitical situation in the region where Armenia is located. We also discussed the Czech priorities of the presidency of the council. We discussed the Eastern partnership in detail and Armenia is an important part of the Eastern partnership, of course. And uh, we could not avoid the topic that is being discussed at every meeting these days and that is the priorities of the Czech Presidency and the Council of the European Union that were affected by Russian aggression against Ukraine. We discussed the priorities and the situation in general. Allow me also to express that we really appreciate uh, how Armenia is interested in the continuation of the Eastern partnership. The Czech Republic is persuaded that the EU must still be active in the region of Southern Ca Caucasus. We also support more engagement of the EU, more participation in the mediation of the conflict in the region of the Southern Caucasus because the Czech Republic wants to see this region as to be stable, prosperous, with a sustainable peace and uh, normalized relationships in the area. I understand that these are difficult topics and it's not easy to find uh, solutions and answers for them. I also really appreciate the efforts of Armenia and Turkey uh, to work on normalizing their mutual relations. That was the main content of our meeting today. Thank you. Now, Minister Mirzian, please. So, dear Minister, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, firstly, I would like to thank my colleague Jan Lipavsky for the very warm welcome. I would also like to seize the opportunity to congratulate the Czech Republic on the successful launch of its presidency in the Council of the European Union. This is my first visit to Czechia, a country which has officially taken the course of pursuing the legacy of Václav Havel, underscoring human rights, democratic development, strong civil society and multilateral collaboration. Currently, the government of Armenia is implementing its ambitious agenda of democratic reforms and transformations. Uh, Czechia is our reliable partner in this regard. We highly value our relations with Czechia based on shared values and historical friendship and are keen to promote the Armenian-Czech political dialogue and interstate relations to a qualitatively new level, including through high-level reciprocal visits, regular consultations between our foreign affairs ministries, and active interparliamentary engagement. During our discussions, my colleague and I agreed to put our utmost efforts towards the utilization 
of the potential in the spheres of economy, trade and investment, as well as fostering intercultural exchanges and people-to-people -people contacts. Armenia and Czechia have mutually beneficial cooperation also within multilateral formats, including UN, OSC, Council of Europe. This is extensively complemented by the Armenian EU cooperation with its milestone agreement, the Comprehensive and Enhanced Partnership Agreement. We highly value the active role of the Czech Republic in promoting the framework of the Eastern Partnership and stand ready to join efforts in uh, maintaining this cooperation platform in the spirit of mutual understanding, inclusiveness and uh, merit-based approach. Uh, dear friends, today we also extensively discussed the issues of regional international security, referred to the uh, Nagorno-Karabakh conflict and the situation resulting from the 44-day war unleashed against the people of Nagorno-Karabakh. I briefed Mr. Libavsky on Armenia's position and efforts toward establishing peace and stability in our region, where the OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship plays a key role in reaching a comprehensive and lasting settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. In this regard, I express my gratitude to the Czech side for its continued support to these efforts and the role that OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship plays. Nearly two years after the cessation of hostilities uh, in Nagorno-Karabakh, humanitarian issues remain unresolved. Azerbaijan continues to hold Armenian prisoners of war and civilian hostages, using them as political uh, weapon. Also, Azerbaijan's policy of destruction, desecration of the Armenian cultural and religious heritage in the territories fallen under Azerbaijani control is of great concern. In this regard, we expect a targeted response and practical action from the international community. Dear colleagues, the, the, the realities resulting from the use of force and mass violations of human rights cannot create a sustainable foundation for regional peace and security. Armenia has repeatedly stated its readiness for constructive dialogue, refrain from preconditions and war-mongering rhetoric, for sustainable peace and development of our region. I will conclude my speech with this. Once again, thank you very much, Mr. Lipavsky, for your hospitality, and please kindly receive my invitation to visit us. Thank you, Mr. Lipavsky, for I would like to ask how is Armenia affected by sanctions on Russia? Thank you very much. Um, of course, um, sanctions against Russia uh, have their negative, direct or indirect impact on uh, Armenia's uh, economic development, the economic situation in the region uh, in general. And uh, thus, we are trying to find short-term and mid-term solutions to uh, uh, mechanisms for addressing and, if possible, eliminating these uh, <coughs> threats. And, uh, and um, my hope is that uh, we will simply succeed in this process. Thank you. Thank you. I will read the question that was sent to us by the Army Press News Agency. It's to the Minister Lipavsky. So, Mr. Minister, since the 44-day war in 2020, Azerbaijan has been unlawfully holding 38 Armenian prisoners of war and civilian hostages, while the fate of many enforced disappearances remains unknown. Numerous international organizations and countries, including the Foreign Affairs Committee of Chamber of Deputies of Czech Parliament, these resolutions have called upon Azerbaijan to free Armenian POWs. What Czechia, as a country which promotes human rights and humanitarian values, is doing to facilitate the process of freeing the Armenian prisoners of war? Thank you. Uh, 
Thank you. During any meeting, bilateral or multilateral, we stress that international humanitarian law and the Geneva Conve Conventions must be respected. The Czech Republic strictly respects them, and we expect this from other countries as well. Uh, speaking about the issue you mentioned in particular, the Czech Republic supports the mediation efforts of Charles Michel in resolution of the conflict, and I think his role is crucial. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. Bye.